Hello there, I am Giant Quota with more Pokemon Diamond video. In the last part, we took on the, uh, what did we do? We did, uh, we helped Dawn get her Pokedex back from two Team Galactic Grunts that took it when she lost it, or, um, dropped it. So yeah, but now we're on Route 214 south of Bellstone City, and we also got the HM02 for Fly. We talked to Karen, our micro, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's take on the Psychic Dude, um, or... Psychic dude, or um, I think it's a psychic dude. Um, look out behind you. What is it? What it is? In that battle, uh, Jedi grew level 27, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put Rose up to the front. I really want Rose to evolve soon with Roselia, but so far it's not been going so well. Oh, here's the here's where the Rune Maniac or D Digger guy is. So yeah, uh, everyone calls me the Rune Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I just keep chipping away at the rock, little by at the wall, little by little. Do you know why? It's a Rune. I'm a rune maniac who is fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go catch the unknown and I'll keep digging away. We'll see. We'll have a race to see who can get done faster. So the more unknown you catch, the bigger this cave will get, or longer I should say. And um, that actually lead to the, 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 um, the ending of this cave rock should we do? Oh, TM28 dig is right there, like I said before. How, like, you can't. Like, earthquake. Or, the ground type moves are so scarce in this game, and, like, you can't even get dig till that right there. And I don't even think it was at the uh, Veilstone department store, but yeah. But, um. At the end of the, um. Uh, tunnel, or whatever, when the guy's done digging, it'll lead to the top part of, um. The Silesian Ruins, where you saw that like other entrance above the entrance of Silesian Ruins, or top entrance of Silesian Ruins back in Silesian Town. So that's interesting. I'm gonna just cut across this grass. Okay, but do oh, I'm probably gonna have a shield gone or something. I'm gonna have to switch out or something. It seems to be very. It seems to be very fat, myst mystifying. That's this. That the um sense I get. That's the sense I get. A ru okay, yeah, you're a rune maniac too. I think. To show you what I mean, I'll battle with the Pokemon I found. Okay, so that was a kind of a lengthy battle. Dang it! I'm gonna probably put a repel on or something. Ah, uh, dang it! Wrong pocket. I meant to switch pockets. Items pocket. Repel. Twelve. Okay, I have eleven left. Okay, gotta keep that in mind. Let's battle you. I think he's a collector. He may have ponytails, and I have um rose up front, so I might have to switch out or something. But we'll see. To find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, and any other which any which way. So you talk about north and south too. Cool. Cool.
Yes, but he's finally evolving into Roselia. Awesome. Rose is evolving. Nice. Okay, so Rose got level 27 in that battle, and so did um, Bronze. Got a Roselia now. Nice. I'm so happy Rose finally evolved. Yeah, here's another tiny mushroom. So that's cool. There's two split paths you can take through this route. This rocky route with the grass, or the uh, fenced in route with the tall grass and stuff. So, yeah. Let me see, let me rearrange my Pokemon. Everyone's level 27 except for Karen and excluding Becky. Um, yeah. I'm gonna switch to Jetta to be at the front then. Then we'll switch, yeah, do that. Karen's still leading in the pack with level tw at level 29, that's kinda cool. I've been traveling around the world ch uh, chasing stories on mysteries. It's made me pretty tough. We'll see about that, let's battle. That guy, the room manic only had a um, uh, shield, uh, shield, shield gun, or shield on, shield on, yeah, shield on. The people form a vast shield on. Okay, there's a honey tree if you want it, but I'm gonna pair them with another repel actually and just book it. Yeah, it looks like I just, I just picked up that one item, which I forget what it was. I'll put a text over it to um, remind me to um, tell you guys what it is in case I click too fast. Oh, big root, nice. So, what does uh? We always have already as its item. Quick claw. Okay. Um, I'm gonna switch the items. I'll give her, uh the big root. Basically, the big root. Um, it it um as a health item for uh p p people who have like uh, uh, progress type Pokemon that like you no know, absorb or Mega Drain or Giga Drain, and it, was, it um gives more like, HP. You know, to recover more HP. So I'll give Rose the big root. Yeah, we like to switch two items. Go on the yeah. Did I switch to the items? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So that means that the bronze is pretty slow, huh? Yeah. Speed is 22. Wow. Special attack is 20. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll put this quick claw on. Um. Well, actually, no one else needs it really. But I'll put it on Jetta to make it even to make. Jet even quicker, you know? That'd be cool. Okay. So there we go. And this you might have a lot of Roselli, is there something? Yeah, Roselli is. For this for my for the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. Uh, that's what a collector does. I let poor Jetta faint. I'm gonna actually fly uh, back to Veilstone City and heal up. So let me just do that. And fly to Veilstone City. So I'll see you guys in a little bit after I heal up and everything. Okay, so the repel, um, my last repel wore off um, as I was coming back from the Pokemon Center. So I'll have to put a new one up. For right now, we'll pick up some berries. This is citrus berries, really cool. Citrus berries restore 30 HP of a uh, Pokemon. Um, and it can be a held item, so that's pretty cool. Like, you've seen, like, in boss fights, the best Pokemon that the, the boss or the gym leader has, um, has, um, a Citrus Berry as a held item for its Pokemon, strongest Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Poeg Berries? Oh, Pomeg Berries. Pomeg Berries. I don't know if you pronounce it, but it sounds like it. 
correctly. You know, X, ooh, special, X, X, def, special defend. I won't be using that, but I don't know why I said ooh. I got excited for some reason. Here's a, um, a rich boy, I guess. When it was, who knows how this will go. We're playing for keeps. Okay. We'll, we'll do that. I can take you on, man. Here's the um, collector. I think he must have a, like a lot of pony tests or something because we've seen Breezels and we've seen Roselias and there should be all the pony tests. Three of them should be three pony tests. What you do, you do have a Pokedex. Okay, so after that battle, we got through that battle, so that's nice. I think this uh, uh, beauty has a um, woman dam or something like that. So I'm gonna switch to Rose, and also she had a good level 28 in the last battle, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's take her on. Oh, you want to have you want to teach me something about Pokemon? I didn't know why I thought that um that Wormadam was heavy in some cases. Oh here's a honey by the way, I thought there was gonna be an item there. So that's pretty cool. Another honey. Um let's put bronze up front I guess. Cause this is another psychic dude, right? I'll have to see. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm I've i I'd sensed the presence of a trainer for a while. It was you. Bronze was so close to being level 28. Was it level 20 or 27? 28, yeah, 28, okay. Just double checking. I'm gonna put another pebble on because I think my other one went off. Yeah, there we go. Here's a hidden item right here. I don't know what it is though. It's a heart scale. Pretty cool. I think you can trade those into like a move tutor in this game. I think in Pastoria City. Yeah, in Pastoria City. And, um,. You can give it to uh, the guy there and he'll teach teach uh, move that your Pokemon would have either forgotten by like replacing it with a new move or where it could have gotten as in like uh, at that stage like it could get uh, that that move which is pretty cool. And I thought there was an item here but I, but I guess not. Okay. I put it off right there okay. Let's just avoid these tall grass. I'm, I'm probably going to just take the I put one encounters if I get one because this is just like four patches of grass. Dang it, so close. Oh, here's a bee barrel. Um, I thought I totally forgot that you could catch a wild bee barrel and teach it all the HM moves, huh? Interesting. I might have to catch this thing or something. Um, what would be the okay? I'm gonna switch over to uh, Rose though. I totally feel like I could, you could catch a bee barrel in the wild. And 
like so you don't have to follow your videos okay um let's start with stun spore i guess okay now it's paralyzed that's good yeah it's paralyzed i can't move okay yeah rose and uh bronze are really close to level 28 which is return it should be about maybe a third or something less than a third yeah about a third okay if we can if we don't have a critical hit and hopefully i didn't jinx myself there we can um you know catch this thing and i wouldn't mind getting the experience from me at this point either so yeah uh, of course it has a citrus berry is it one berry that's in one berry. Okay. So let's go. Okay. So. Um, I'm gonna have to throw a Pokeball now because I don't want to faint it away. Let's use a Pokeball. Hopefully, this, we can catch this thing. Maybe, maybe not. One. Two. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Whenever it just stood still the first, for more than two seconds, you know you didn't catch it. Come on, I, I'll even use my Great Ball, I guess. One of my Great Balls. Yeah, let's use Great Ball. Come on, b -Barrel. You know you want to be on my team as my HM slave, right? One, two, three. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Okay, nice. Okay, we are... Oh yeah, we didn't even have a Beaver, so let's add the Pokedex. Okay, so it's number 14 in the center decks. It's b -Barrel, the Beaver Pokemon. It's, um... It's footprint looks like a little starfy with a big hole in the big hole in its body. Kind of looks like a little starfy for some reason. Not even close. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. Kind of does to me, but I'm weird. Okay, it, it's um, it's uh three, it's three feet three inches tall. Uh, it weighs sixty nine point four pounds. It makes its nest by damming streams with bark and mud. It is known as an industrious worker. Interesting. Give it a B barrel. Yes, I'm gonna name this B barrel Beck because it's a boy and Beck's a boy name, I think. But it could also be a girl name, so why not? Let's just name it Beck. Beck, Beck, Beck. Yeah, it was to, to the PC at one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's talk to this guy. Um, to protect the lake, it's nice to know there are still people worth admiring. Looking admiring like that I believe her his name is Cyrus his name was Cyrus interesting we've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area uh, reason I'm not too sure but apparently to protect the lake interesting oh, here's an item ball pearl seal nice Okay, let's see here. Oh, what am I to do? I was gone, drop my, I, I gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. If I'm sure I had had it out where I left the reception counter earlier. Okay, so I think if you go down here, this guy will stop you. He'll be like pushing us back. Stop, stop. Hey, yes, you. Sunny Shore City, which, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Con Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Interesting. Here's the battle, um, here's the double battles, um, thing, I think. Yeah, um, we should get to the next part. Um, if you go in here and you talk to this guy, he says, Oh, uh, hello, you wish to stay a night? Ah, uh, but there, you, have, you have no reservations. I'm afraid we are totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. And we rest a while and we get our Pokemon restored. Which it doesn't look like on the bottom screen, but yeah. But once we exit this building, yes, it will look like that. See? Okay. So I think that this week he is somewhere around here, but I don't know exactly where. So I'm going to use my dowsing machine. So let's see. Where is it? It should be somewhere around here. I know it is. I know it's supposed to be down here somewhere. Where is it? I know it's down here somewhere. 
Interesting, I can't seem to find it. Like in my first couple playthroughs of this game, I never even bothered with it. But I want to try to do it this time, but I guess I can't find it. It's around this area. Huh, I can't seem to find it. I'm sorry, but you have to be, for the whole game, you're just going to have to be outside your hotel, <laughs> sweet, sweet room, I guess. I mean, I totally, that's what, yeah. That's why I get karma is I just have to go through my things again. There we go. Okay, um, I also didn't have to that time. I wasn't really, I'm not really sure. So here's the um the Seven Stars restaurant. More flavor than you can wish for. Nice. Can we even go in there yet? Well, I, I want to save that for the next part, actually, anyway. So this has been then my Pokemon Diamond we uh we do walk the guide part. And next part, we'll take on this fancy restaurant with a bunch of double battles if it's open and people in a battle. And then we'll have to go south more onto the next route and hopefully get to Pastoria City. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to mention again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide. In the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.